Welcome back to my birding channel. It's been quite a while since I last did an update on the Dairy Farm Nature Park. And now I think this is the best time to do one because it is migratory season. You'll be able to see a lot of species that you won't be able to find here at other times. Every year, millions of birds make an amazing journey. Flying from the north, from the Arctic Circle, from North Asia, Siberia, Russia, Mongolia, China, from Japan. They fly thousands of kilometers along what are known as flyways. Heading south all the way to Indonesia, to New Guinea, to Australia, and even to New Zealand. There, they wait out the cold winter before returning again in spring. The birds fly south for the winter, as the saying goes. Singapore is a small stopover point for some birds along the East Asia Australia flyway. And amazingly, some of these birds recognize where they are, where they've been before, and return to the very same spot. How? We still can't comprehend. But the fact is that they do. And so, year after year, you can see the same birds and the same species coming back to the very same place. Just like the shorebirds like wimbrels, plovers, storks, sandpipers gather annually around Sungai Bulo, the Kranji marshes, the Mandai mud flats, forest birds stop over at Bukit Timah, the central catchment, Salita, and here at the chestnut and dairy farm nature parks. Today, Let's go together and see what migratory birds we can spot here at Dairy Farm. During this migration season, you may be able to see the black crested bulbul, the Siberian blue robin, the blue rock thrush, Narcissus flycatcher, uh, eyebrow thrush, the zappy or blue and white flycatcher, the Asian red eye bulbul, cream vented bulbul, hooded pita, and the blue-eared kingfisher. All these migrants and a lot of raptors you won't see at other times. And of course, not forgetting the all-year-round resident birds like the Asian fairy bluebirds, the jumbo fruit dove, the greater racket tail drongos, spider hunters, Van Hassels, sunbirds. Since my last dairy farm video, a new shed has been built here by N Parks. Unfortunately, this was where the four curry leaves were, where the red crown barbets and the drongos used to feed and roost at night. We have to look for another location to see where these birds have relocated themselves. At the top of the slope where the Wallace Trail begins, there used to be this famous mulberry tree that had been magically attracting all the lovely, colourful passerine birds. Resident birds like the fairy bluebird, the scarlet flower packer, the orange-bellied flower packers, the green leaf birds, and Asian glossy starlings. Sadly, it has been cut down by ant parks. But not to worry, it seems that all those birds have now moved to another mulberry tree just a few meters down the Wallace Trail, just beyond.
The resident forest birds, as well as the migrating birds, seem to be greatly attracted to the mulberry fruits. And now, another mulberry tree has matured just beside the Wallace Trail observation deck. From this deck, it would be easy to spot the migrant birds. These were some of the migrant birds shot by birders during this period. In my last dairy farm video, I said that birds will move around from place to place in the same habitat for many reasons. Some get chased away by other birds, some relocate because of the lack of food, and some simply find new territories to breed. Well, since the last episode, I found that two of my favorite birds have moved. The Rufus tail tailor bird can now be found here, just along the track to the MRT station before the German International School. Here around the discarded concrete stones, you can find a family of Rufus tail tailor birds. The blue-eared kingfisher has also moved to a new area. This is just at the pavilion also near the German school as well. Look out for it around the water ponds. Here are some birding tips if you want to search for migratory birds in Singapore. Migration season is roughly between end September and to early April each year. The birds start flying as autumn turns to winter, so that's when we'll start seeing the arrival of the first winter birds, and also we'll start seeing flocks of birds as they fly to warmer climates south. So places like Pasiris, Pulau Ubin, Sungai Bulo, will see the first arrivals. Then, around March and April, we will see a second wave of migratory birds as they return north. After flying over vast stretches of open sea, they will arrive exhausted at the southern shores of Singapore. They will immediately look for safe locations to rest and search for food to replenish their energy. So, the best places to look for these returning birds will be the areas where they first make landfall. Places like Tuas, Jurong, Teloblanga and the West Coast, even the Marina Bay area and the East Coast. If you like to watch raptors, a good place would be the Henderson Wave Bridge. And if you like forest birds, head to the central catchment or here at Dairy Farm and the Bukit Timah Nature Reserves. And if shore birds are your thing, go to Sungai Bulo Wetlands. These are the places where the migrating birds will take a few days break to feed and fatten up before continuing on their migration journey 
Home up north. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to my birding channel if you have not done so. Click on the notification bell and you will be informed when my next birding video will be uploaded. As always, happy birding, stay safe and bye.